Montana. Big sky country. The treasure state. People got a lot of names for it. I just call it home. I lived here my whole life. Still amazed at how beautiful it is. Maybe that's what blinded us to how ugly the people were getting. Good day to you, brother. You don't understand. No one took these groups seriously. They were different. Religious. Militant. I mean, it was a goddamn cult. The collapse is upon us, my children. They started buying up every farm for miles. Then the radio station. Not long after that, they even had the fucking cops. Their own sovereign religious state. Built right here. Under our noses. Ain't no one coming to help us. The government can't do shit. We're on our own. Defense, we save those lost souls, whether they want to be saved or not. People don't want to believe groups like this exist. People are scared, man. Some will wish to harm us. Some will wish to destroy all that we have built here together. Some will betray us. We don't know what he's capable of. Who? Their leader. Joseph Seed. They call him the father. And those in the outside world are blind. They do not believe. They have no faith. But I will make them see. Hey, rookie. Rookie. You're wasting your time. There's no signal out here. Crossing over the hand bane now. How much longer? And just long enough for you to change your mind. So we can turn this bird around. You want me to ignore a federal warrant, Sheriff? No, sir. I want you to understand the reality of this situation. Joseph Seed, he's not a man to be fucked with. We've had run-ins with him before. They haven't always gone our way. Just sometimes. Sometimes it's best to leave well enough alone. Yeah, well, we have laws for a reason, Sheriff. And Joseph Seed's gonna learn that. Pratt, open a call with dispatch. 10-4. White Horse to dispatch, over. We're approaching the compound, Nancy. Over. Roger, Sheriff. Do you plan to go through with this? Over. We are. Unfortunately, still trying to talk some sense in our friend, the Marshal. Over. All right. Lucky I'm not there. Get into any trouble, you just let me know. Over. Ten four, over and on. Maybe we should have brought Nancy along with us instead of the Proby. These Peggy's wouldn't fuck with her. Pratt. Why do you keep calling them Peggy's? Project at Eden's Gate. P.E.G. Peggy's is what the locals call. You know, they started off harmless enough a few years back, but now they are armed to the teeth. Yeah, they're looking for a fight. Are you scared, Sheriff? We're here. Compound's just below. <sighs> oh, my Jesus. This is a bad idea. Last chance, Marshal. <sighs> We're going in. Roger that. Dispatch, you still there? Yes, go ahead, Sheriff. You don't hear from us in 15 minutes. Send in everyone. Call the goddamn National Guard if you have to. Over. Yes, sir, Sheriff. I'll be praying for you. Now listen up. Three rules. Stick close. Keep your guns in your holsters. And let me do the talking. Got it? Got it. Rookie! All right, everyone. Stay sharp. Let's go! You'll be 
be in the church. Stick close. Eyes open. These folks can spoke easily. Rook, I'm in the seat. Right. Stay loose, huh? What are they doing here? Be calm. Stay calm, everyone. Just go about your business. This doesn't concern you. Sheriff, I don't like this. Everything's fine, Nancy. Everything's just fine. Jesus Christ, you're wearing badges, aren't you? Yeah, but they don't respect badges much as you. They'll respect a 9mm. Not every problem can be solved with a bullet, Marshal. <laughs> to get your name in the paper. You'll be fine. Something is coming. You can feel it, can you? We are creeping toward the edge. And there will be a reckoning. That is why we started the project. Because we know what happens next. They will come. They will try to take from us, take our guns, take our freedom, take our faith. We will not let them. Sheriff, come on. Hold on we will not let their greed or their immorality or their depravity hurt us anymore. Sheriff, sure. there will be no more effect. suffering. Oh, fuck it. Joseph C. I have a warrant issued for your arrest on the suspicion of kidnapping with the intent to harm. Now, I want you to step forward and keep your hands where I can see them. There they are, the locusts in our garden. See, they've come for me. They've come to take me away from you. They've come to destroy all that we've built. Do not touch that service We knew this moment would come. And we were prepared for it. Go. Go. God will not let them take me. I saw when the Lamb opened the first seal, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts say, Come and see. Step forward. And I saw. And behold, it was White Horse. And hell followed with him. Rookie, cuff this son of a bitch. God will not let you take me. on him. Sometimes the best thing to do is to walk away. Let's go. Take point, it's going right. On it. Stay on the path, rookie. Rookie Q, 
keep up. I am a federal marshal. I'm ordering you to stand back. Just fine here. No need to call anymore. Yes, Father. Praise be to you. No one is coming to save you. Everything is unfolding according to God's plan. I am still here with you. The first seal has been broken. The last has begun. And we will take what we need. We will preserve what we have. And we will kill all those who stand in our way. And these, the harbingers of doom, will see the truth. Begin the refit! We gotta get out of here.
try and get inside. If anyone's still out there, listen. If anyone's still alive. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Rook, I'm sorry. I thought they got you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Check the room, Rook. Oh, Jesus. I had no idea. Fuck. We're putting this whole family away. All of them. Fucking lunatics. We're gonna get out of this, rookie. First things first, gotta arm ourselves. Here. All right, here's what we're gonna do. There's a road out there. We're gonna take it, we're gonna head northeast. It's probably only a few hours back to Missoula, and then, we're gonna come back here with a goddamn National Guard, and we're gonna take out the rest of these... Okay, shh. Fucking air support. 
my children. We must give thanks to God. The day I have prophesied to you has arrived. Everything I told you has come true. The authorities who tried to take me from you are now in the loving embrace of my family. Save for one. that shit means? It means the roads have all been closed. It means the phone lines have been cut. It means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley. But mostly it means we're all fucked. Goddamn collapse. They all think the world's coming to an end now. They've been waiting for it, for years. Waiting for somebody to, to come along and fulfill their prophecy and kick off their goddamn holy war. Well, you sure as shit kicked. <sighs> Smartest thing for me to do would just be to hand you over. Fuck. Get out of that uniform. We need to burn it. There's some fresh clothes there. When you get changed, you come and see me. We'll see if we can unfuck this situation.
and I will do whatever we can. Edie's day won't take us alive. You there? This is Ray Ray. What the hell is going on? We've, we've heard a miss of gunshots, and I, I swore that weren't thunder earlier, but, but a couple of explosions. Boomer's all riled up and won't settle down. Is this more of them Peggy's bullshit? How much are we gonna stand for? Anyway, call me back when you can, and take care of yourself. Say again, this is Dutch. Good. You found something that fits. I didn't properly introduce myself back there. Most folks call me Dutch. I've been trying to piece together what's happening up top. It ain't good. Little I can gather is that your partners are alive. For now. Seems they've been split up. Each one handed off to a different member of Joseph's family. You want them back, I get it, I get it. I got friends that have been taken, too. Problem is, there ain't no help coming. Nobody knows what's going on here, and they won't know until it's too late. There's got to be people out there willing to fight back against this cult. We just, we need to show them how. We need to build us a resistance. So the first thing we're going to do is get control of this island. Once we got some breathing room, we can figure out what's coming next. There's a gun and a map in the safe over there. Take them. I'll give you a call on your radio once you get your bearings. Crawling with Peggy's. No 
those fuckers are willing to die for that psychopath that's leading them. Kids, man. Kids will kill you. First thing they'll do is ruin your sleep for good. No matter how old they are, you'll never sleep well again. Next, you do your best to toughen them up for a cold, hard world. But then they're the ones that end up breaking your heart. longer do we have to walk? Where's the deputy? Talk, sinner! Come on, I'll help you, please! I thought I was done for. Thanks. Bad, you hear? These loony fanatics are out of control. If you want to protect yourself, I think there's a prepper stash near the boathouse. Should have some good gear squirreled away. That cult's buying up all the double odd buck. Hunting deer's getting expensive.
special ship that's been squirreled away. I'll go take a look. you may want to build some dynamite. Luckily, folks around here have been stockpiling all the materials you might need. So just grab them up. Get crafting.
just what the project needs. If I had my way, they'd be dead already. Whoa, got a body here. You're a queen in the apocalypse, and you can't even stand it by me! Good Lord. Seriously, thank you. Thank you, Deputy. Hey, this could be fun. Hey, Deputy. Now that you're partnered up, the day you should head to the Forest Research Station. Ghosts been crawling all over that place, using it as a depot for their goddamn bliss. Clear them all out. Send a message. We're not fucking around anymore. Making a move. Land with California would be full of tracked houses and strip malls by now. I hear you, friend. Hey, Becky's over there. Getting a better angle. These poor sinners got tools. We can't put them to the proper use. We are all instruments of the Father.
down. While you're there, check around and see if any folks are left alive. I'm impressed. There's more fighting you than I thought. You got a real shot at setting up this resistance. Next step is clearing up the radio signal. My CB's on the fritz. I can't get a hold of anyone off this island. The radio tower near the south shore must be busted. This you think you can... Take care of that for me? Gotta take what the dead don't need. Seriously, thank you. you. Gotta make the best of what Seriously, we do. thank you. Just what we do. But we're damn good at it. Following you. I'm right behind you. Good stuff from Raven Pegasus. I know what you're thinking, and no. I ain't gonna have you climbing towers all over the county for me, so don't worry. Also, try not to fall from up there. Trying to hold out, but 
Jacob's Red is step on their necks. Southeast of there, you got the Henbane River. That's Faith's territory. The little sister. I've heard all sorts of stories about people losing their minds in a place called the Bliss. Now, head west to the Holland Valley. John Seeds just rolled in there and has taken everything in the name of the cult. Food, supplies, and worst of all, people. Now, they're gonna have plenty more calls all over the county. I'll keep you posted on anything that'll be useful. Oh shit. Deputy, I'm picking up something new out of Holland Valley. It's a broadcast from John. You need to see this. We are all sinners. Every one of us. You, me. Even the Father knows deeply of sin. It's a poison that clouds our minds. What if I told you you could be free from sin? What if I told you that everything you ever dreamed could come true? What if I told you that everything could be overcome if you embraced an idea? That freedom from sin can come from the power of just one word. Yes, I must be redeemed. If you're watching this, know that you have been selected. You will be cleansed. You will confess your sins, and you will be offered atonement. Don't worry. You don't have to do anything. We'll come for you. Welcome to Eden's Gate. Fuck. John C's got your partner, Hudson. She's in a world of shit, kid. You gotta get going.
fall into the Peggy's. If you can hear me and you can help, we really need you. Mary May out. <laughs> destroyed Mary May's family and tried to shut down her bar in Fall's End. This fight is very personal for her. You fucking fuck! You killed my boy! My only boy! My only blood! Uh, 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 just living our lives! Okay, thanks for that. I just saw Merle driving towards the trailer park right before the cult rolled up. Knowing him, he's looking for a fight. Well, I hope he's got people to help him. Oh, glad that wasn't worse. Fishing brings a body peace like nothing else. And don't we ever need peace in times like these? You'd be a fool not to take advantage of the fishing around these parts. Having a moment just to yourself in all this craziness? Well, it's good for the soul. It's important not to lose sight of what is and isn't worth fighting for. The way I see it, the biggest problem these days all stem from the fact that most people don't stop and think before they act. Not every problem is solved with a bullet, you know. Anyway, that's just my two cents. If you need any gear or bait or the like, I can set you up.
fall into the Peggy's. If you can hear me and you can help, we really need you. Fall's 
so that they may be more than you and ready to thrive in the world after the collapse. That is what God and Joseph proclaim. This is our mission, to embrace the word of Joseph, to say yes, I will be saved. To say yes, I will be reborn. To say yes, I pledge my life to the project. To say yes, I pledge my soul to the family and to the state. But not everyone is quick to embrace us. Some have fires that need deafening. Some need to learn how.
He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. For I know the plans that I have made for you, declared the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. <laughs> uh, I don't claim to know God's plans, but I know a good thing when I see it. Getting quite a reputation, deputy. You're the first good thing to happen to this valley in a long time. A little help? Are you trying to break your neck? It just seemed like a good idea at the time. Yeah. Thanks. Shit. It's you. <laughs> Sorry, didn't realize. All you've done, might as well add Mover to the list, huh? <laughs> I thought that Eden's Gate confiscated all of this. Hell kind of Fairgrave would I be if I didn't have a hidden stash? <laughs> Learn from the best. <laughs> this town, it's been through a lot, Deputy. We owe you thanks, but... I know you're looking for your people. But the truth is, you ain't the only one in need of help. The pastor and I can only do so much. You could see about lending a hand. Be sure to return the favor. What do you say? Get you squared away. When you get the chance, come by the church. I'll be there. Brothers and sisters, someone out there is not playing by the rules. Someone is taking from us, stealing. What rightfully belongs to the father. They are a murderer and a coward. But God sees them, and God will guide us to them. They will be found, and they will be punished. This is the will of the father. Wonder if I should mount a 50 cal on my rig, just in case. I heard there was a guy who claims he built a teleporter, but he lives in a dump. So it's gotta be bullshit, right? I don't know. Might be worth checking out. Can't thank you enough for getting rid of those fucking cultists. Some balls rolling into town like that. Most folk take one look at Eden's Gate and turn the other way. The ones that don't get taught a hard lesson. My dad was one of the first to stand up to him. Anytime the Peggy's showed up looking for trouble, dad would hop in his big rig and chase him out of town. He loved that truck. Called it the Widowmaker. 
And those fuckers stole it from him a week before he passed. Shit. You really want to piss off the cult? Get the Widowmaker back. Show the cult we're not just gonna roll over. And give the folks here something to cheer about. It's locked up under guard at a grain elevator east of here. But I think you're just the person for the job. Man, this is the most awesome game I've ever played. The stew's just not the same. The Star ingredient. Hey, you, in the kitchen. The people of Hope County deserve better than this. This game's awesome. You can play with your friends. Pardon me, sir. Hudson's as tough as they come, but that's not going to be enough to withstand John's torture. The people of Hope County deserve better than this. You know what this town needs? Balls. I'm dead serious. Falls Anne's annual testicle festival is a decades-old tradition. The testy festi is one of the few times the community comes together for what makes them happiest. Scarfing down cowboy caviar. Oh, this, this town needs a morale again. boost. And if stuffing Rocky Mountain oysters down your gullet don't put a smile on your face, then I don't know what could. The problem is, the festival's been postponed because of the goddamn cult. Now, I am not going down as the cook who failed to serve up huevos with a side of happiness. We're gonna do this. But first, we need to get the testy festy supplies out of storage. The young fella named Kenny's got them all locked up for me at the old bar. I'll start getting set up. You head over and get those supplies. Can't thank you enough for getting rid of those fucking cultists. Thanks for the rescue, I... Thought we were goners. Yep, I'm pretty handy with a weapon. Falls End has endured tougher times than this.
filled in these <laughs> but it'll wash away. Tell you how good it feels to be back in Falls End. I'm glad you're looking to do more here. We need you. As you can see, John Seed's making a lot of people suffer right now, and quite frankly, I can't keep up. These people need me. They're my responsibility now. But that just means keeping tabs on the resistance has been that much harder. When you get a chance, head out east and check on our people at the Woods and Pig Farm. I haven't heard back from them in a couple of days, and that worries me. We can't afford to lose a single one of our fighters. 